Okay, we're uh, working on two units today. Uh, one of our customers um, that does the printing for us uh, at our company, and uh, we had some thieves last night try to steal these air conditioners, cut the lines, and then uh, cut the disconnect. So we got to get these things uh, repiped in, and got to vacuum them down and get them recharged. So they got some cooling. So well, that's what we're doing today. I got to see if I got another filter dryer in the truck for that one, or I'll just straight pipe it for right now to get it out of there, because it looks like it's probably going to leak here pretty soon. It's in bad shape. Let me see if I got another filter dryer in the truck. I had one, but I kind of take you through the process of getting these things reconnected. Okay, we got it fitted up. As you can see, I got my new suction line. I got a new filter dryer for this one. I still have to fit this one up, but I want to get these brazed up before I do that. So let's get it brazed up really quick. Set this camera down, see if we can get a shot. And we'll uh, leave that right there. Okay, now I was having torch problems, so let's get this thing raised up really quick.
just a spot down low. Let me get that spot on that one. The pipe was a little oval, but and then I'll set this other one up and braise the dryer in. Okay, we got to fit it up. We got our filter dryers in there. Got that one new copper over there, liquid line. Had a problem bending around the turn, kinked it a little, but that's okay. We got it straightened out. Um, it's not the best, but you know, you got to work with what you got. Uh, so we got to get this disconnector replaced, but I'll start pulling a vacuum in the meantime on these. And then we'll get them charged up. We are getting ready to charge these things up. So, this one. Takes 96 ounces. I had to wire this one hot, but it is on a breaker inside. But i got to come back and replace the disconnect on this one. Didn't have one on the truck. So... We're going to throw 96 ounces of liquid gold in here. And then we'll get her started up. So see, we're going to start with 6 pounds. And the other one needs... Uh, the other one needs 74 ounces. So... Or, uh, let's see what 74 ounces works out to. Yeah. 74 divided by 16. 4.62, so I'll just throw 5 in it. It should be good. But let's get them charged up and running. i got to fix some wiring issue down here. and These should be good. We'll go from there. Well, we got them up and running. Uh, it's not the the best repair, but you know it's going to do for right now until they get money to change these things out. Uh, right now, downstairs, this is a downstairs unit. Uh, running 22 degrees superheat on a piston system, so. Both of them are pistons, and uh, it's extremely hot downstairs. It's 80 degrees downstairs. It's 85 upstairs. You got a decent amount of humidity, so yeah, 84 psi, 20 degrees of superheat. This R22, but uh, let me switch over to the other system, and we got them charged up. Basically, factory charge plus about a few ounces work great. So, yeah, it's just a little repair. This, I don't know, this took me about two hours or so uh, just to get them back up and running. But, uh, they're working good. Can't complain. Alright, that should do it for this one. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.